This is the programmer Al, and in this video, I'm going to walk through the Edibit Python challenge, rotate the list by one. And what they want you to do in this challenge is create a function that rotates the values clockwise by one. So basically, the last value is sent to the first position. So here in an example, you see it's one, two, three, four, five, and the five is taken away from the end and placed at the beginning. And if you look at the resources, they recommend using the insert method. I had some challenges with that, so I went a different way. This is I'm going to walk through some of the solutions in a little bit, but this is one of those ones that there's a bajillion ways that you can solve this issue. And so what I did was I just took the first place, the zero index, and I assigned it to what I want it to be, which is the last element in the list. And to do that, they want it in square brackets and then LST, and then it's going to be square brackets again to denote the last place, which is negative one. You use negative one for the index of the last place. And so now this is saying the first position, zero, is now going to be replaced with the element um, LST, or the list last element of the list. <laughs> that took me a moment to get out. And then we still have an issue because, so let's take a peek of one of the tests. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Well, I took it so that now the first position is five, but it's still going to be five, one, two, three, four, five. Like I have this last number and I have to do something with it. And so what I want to do is just use the pop method. And that's just going to take that last number off and then we can return the list LST and let's check it and see if all those tests pass and they should because I've done this a couple of times and then let's look at some of the solutions so some of the ways that they did it was here's it all in one succinct statement um, return the last element and add it to the list from 0 to negative 1, or to the last element. Some people use lambda, and then it took me a while to find how insert was used, but basically it looks like they had to create a new variable, and they popped off that last number from the list, and then they inserted in the first position that variable and that was able to get it to work so this is kind of where I had a little bit of issue so always you know investigate try out and it's always a good idea to look at the solutions afterward because you might see a different way to solve the problem that you can use in a different challenge and so that is my walkthrough of rotate the list by one